Hello everyone. In my previous video, I have shown you how to host a Python website using Heroku. So this was the website we created last time. And this is the hosted website in Heroku. Now we are going to do something similar to this, but instead of using Heroku, we will be using DigitalOcean. Later in this video, I will also show you how to use your own domain name. So first, let's open the project in VS Code. This is the project. Last time while uploading to Heroku, we created three files. These are frog file, requirements, and runtime. For DigitalOcean, we only need these two files, runtime.txt and requirements.txt. Uh, in runtime.txt, we have to add the person, Python version we are using. So we can get our Python version by using Python 3 dash dash version. Then we need to copy and paste the version in our runtime.txt file. And to generate the requirements.txt file, we need to run the command pip3 freeze greater than and requirements.txt. Now these two files are created. For DigitalOcean, we don't need this frog file. So I'm going to delete this file. And I'm going to push my changes in, in a different branch. So first I will create a different branch for this project in GitHub. I will name it Digital Ocean. Since we are already using the master branch for Heroku here, I am going to create a separate branch for Digital Ocean. Okay, so now we are in a different branch. I'm going to push my changes. So only change we have made here is we deleted the frog file. Uh, deleted frog file. And now it's uploaded. So first we have to create an account in digital ocean. I have already created an account. So I'm just going to log in. Then you need to add a project here. Mm. Python. Now go to manage apps. Click create app, select GitHub as the service provider, then here we need to edit our GitHub permission. Uh, the name of our repository is any video downloader dash icoder. Then click install and authorize. Now we can see that we can select the repository we want to use and select the branch we are going to use. The branch I am going to use here is digital-ocean. Now click select auto deploy and click next. Then click next and next. Next. Now here we can choose a plan. Edit, click edit plan and in size choose a plan you want to use. Uh, we need only one container. Uh, for cheaper plans we can select basic. Uh, when selecting basic, 
uh, we will get this five dollar per month plan so i'm going to select this now it's showing that our total price is five dollar per per month then click create resources you don't have to worry about this five dollar because it's not going to deduct five dollar instantly and it's going to charge on hourly basis so if you are going to run your website for only one day the total charge will be five dollar by 30 which is less than a dollar now select the component and go to commands and we need to paste this command since i have already pasted earlier it's already showing here but when doing for the first time we need to use this command i will leave this command in the video description so you can copy from there then click save now everything is done and we only need to wait for it to build completely okay so it took around five minutes to completely build now we can check our app as you can see we have successfully hosted our website now in the next step i'm going to use my own domain name instead of this domain so first of all let's buy one domain I will be buying the domain on porkbun.com because the prices are cheaper there. Any video downloader. I will choose any video downloader dot lol because it's only one point five dollar. Then click the plus button. Then click checkout. Continue to billing then you can use credit card or paypal or crypto i am going to use paypal to make the payment okay so now we have successfully completed buying the domain now we are going to connect it with our digital ocean website go to accounts domain management And then select the domain we just bought, which is any video downloader.lol. Click details. Now we have to change this authoritative, authoritative name servers. Click edit. Uh, we are we will get this from DigitalOcean. Here now we are going back to DigitalOcean. Go to settings, app, and here in domains click edit now click add domain mm. now enter the domain name any video downloader dot lol and here now we have got the dns records so copy all this ns1 ns2 and then ns3 Click add domain here and in pork bun click submit. It's currently pending. Okay, so now after waiting for around 20 minutes, the configuration has successfully completed. Here, as you can see, now it's showing as active. Now, if you open the website, you can see that it's successfully done. So, that's it for the video. You have learned how to host a Python website in DigitalOcean. In my next video, I will show you how to host a Python website for completely free using a website similar to DigitalOcean. The name of the website is 
railway here you can see that they have a free plan which grants five dollar credit per month and you can select this plan and host a python website for completely free and you can also use your own domain name that's it for the video thank you for watching if you like this video please leave a like and a comment